Hey guys, Christina here, aka Misfit Girl 66 on behalf of Altness. I'm here at TXR Paintball today for a Viper scenario game called Tech Wars. It's a weekend long paintball game filled with roles such as medics, commandos, tanks. We're also going to be interviewing Greg Hastings, creator of Greg Hastings Paintball Fields of Battle. So come check it out with us. Today we have with us Greg Hastings, Mr. Famous over here, uh, creator of Greg Hastings Paintball Field of Battle. Ooh. So what got you started into paintball? Uh, my friend Louie invited me up to Connecticut. He had joined the Navy and was on a submarine and he said, hey, why don't you drive up from New Jersey and get a tour of my submarine? And when I finally got up there on a Friday, he's like, hey, tomorrow uh, we're going to go try this whatever, they didn't even call it paintball back then, they called it some kind of thing called splatter. So we went, showed up at this field, they gave us these pistols where you had to push the button in the back to shoot one at a time. And uh, all day I, I spent the entire time in a hole, scared to death. I thought I could hear my heart pounding through my chest. And uh, ultimately the next year when I joined the Navy and was stationed in California, my, uh, my bunk mate, Jim Snodgrass, he had his own equipment and he goes, hey, I play paintball. And I remembered how much fun it was so I said, uh, I'm in. So I went and bought all my own equipment, and here I am 26 years later, still, still playing this awesome sport. And today we are at a Viper Scenario game. TXR so, yes, Paintball. Yes, TXR Paintball, here we are. How are you enjoying the Scenario game so far? Awesome, I've been getting my butt handed to me, but uh, I like a fight. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm a scrapper, so I've been surrounded all day. I feel like I'm in the Special Forces. And today you brought some demos of your game, correct? Yes, yes. Very nice. uh, after about a year of development, um, it's so much easier to travel and demo my game now. I used to have to lug Xboxes and TVs and, and that kind of thing around. I don't have to do that anymore. I just whip out my iPod, my iPad, my phone, and uh, it's great. I sit them out. I don't even say anything. I just turn the power on, sit them up, and like moths to the to the light, kids are kids are liking it. I just went to uh, PAX East, and uh, we had over a thousand people play my game, and it's an honor because it's a paintball game. I really get to see. Uh, reactions and 10 years ago when I started making video games my test was um, we called it the pizza test if you got all your your players playing the game and you sit a stack of pizzas on the table and nobody leaves the game to go eat the pizza you have a hit video game what makes your game fun for non paintball players for people that have played the video game but never played the sport. How will it get them into the sport? When we first started uh, designing this game, I'm, I'm a, I feel like I'm a pro gamer since 1978, 79, and I am. I, I spent thousands of dollars and quarters on every kind of shooting game there was growing up. So when I ultimately went into the Navy and, and figured out real video games, when I came out I knew it was important to not only mimic the sport, but we had to come up with unique shooting elements of this game. So we developed some incredible stuff to snap and conceal. And a lot of people are all like, oh, other games have snap and conceal. Not like this game. Not even remotely close. And it mimics the sport, and that's, that's the main thing that we wanted to stick. How to hide behind a bunker, switching hands, uh, using all your concealment. We have uh, the paint actually arcs. We have windage, it drifts off. So it, you know, you see a guy at 500 yards, you're not putting a sniper target on him and hitting him. It's just not that type of shooter. Right. So if you're if you're used to all other shooters, this is a completely new experience. Completely new experience. So if someone came up to you and they said, "Why should I play a paintball video game because it's not the same experience?" How would you tell them it's worth it to play the video game? What would your argument be to them to say it's still a fun video game? It's still getting into the sport. Well, I try to um, focus my attention on the fans of the sport. Uh, most everybody who's in it like me is an evangelist of the sport. I'm always, hey, do you play paintball? I'm always, I was you know, on a plane, I got a magazine out, I'm playing my video game. If I see a kid, I'm gonna, hey, you play paintball? I talk to moms, I interact a lot. I think when people get a chance to try the sport, even one time, even if they don't play and they come out and sit on the net and watch a game and then go play my video game, uh, I think they get it. 
Plus, my game's family friendly. It's a rated E shooter. Uh, my franchise was the first game to, to get a rated E uh, rating from the ESRB. So I'm, I'm really That's proud huge. of that. Yeah. yeah. So one of my favorite things about your video game was the fact that it has different maps on it. So it's got different fields from all over the United States and um, that's available through just the normal uh, fields but also you're going to have downloadable content. So will that be um, purchasable or different things you can add on and unlock through the game? So uh, when I travel around to play paintball I bring a video camera, um, I bring a regular camera and, or if I can't get there I have the field owners send me photographs of the field, individual bunkers to, to really nail the, the realism. Now it's it's really difficult and expensive to lay out a paintball map precisely, exactly. But to get the spirit of it, the size of it, maybe a particular piece of undulating terrain, uh, a, a feature about one of the, the uh, like a castle or a fort, or here like a submarine yes, on, on yes. the field. Uh, those are the things we nail as far as the realism. But the authenticity pretty much of, in my game starts there. The realism of the maps and those maps every every one of the pieces of uh, downloadable maps in my game is a real place uh, where people have played paintball and I noticed I, I didn't say a paintball field one of those is uh, uh, a facility that is in public that some renegade paintball players decided to win and play some paintball oh, nice. yeah so we I said all right I like your let's moxie. Put it on there. Yeah, yeah. Let's make a paintball field for real out of it. So you'll see a lot of the realistic stuff and a few what we call fantasy paintball fields. So right, right. The authenticity is certainly there. So do you have any advice for the final battle coming up? Hide. In a couple hours? Hide. <laughs> Other than hide, uh, lots of paint, right? Lots and lots of paint. Um, well, you should definitely bring lots of paint. I'm going to bring a lot of paint, but I, the key is it's 40 minutes long, and longevity is everything. So I keep my gun on single trigger mech mode so I can aim and be precise and I will be out there as long as I don't get hit from the start to the end. So I won't run out of pain. A lot of guys are just, just shooting. Right, and I'm right. not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. In fact, uh, one of the things you'll notice if you're running the cameras out on the field is everybody has a role. It looks very disorganized, but it's not. I actually sit in a spot and I play off of other players. You'll, you'll see guys with no shirts on running across the field. Well, you might call that guy an idiot and laugh, but that's when I make my move, because all the guns turn on him. Yes, exactly. And then I get to move. So it took me many years to figure those things out. You can't teach that. It's just keep playing and playing and playing. Well, um, I'm anxious to um, capture all of my recordings on my camera. I just, that's a full HD camera. So every time I, I blast somebody, I, uh, I laugh my butt off and make sure that my camera is on, so. Yes, and you also have one on your goggles as well. Yeah, correct? funny story about this is when I um, was trying to teach my programmers and artists and all my development teams uh, what I see. How to, how to, you know, I took them to play paintball, but the best way, I, I, um, I tried to mount a camera to a paintball gun so I could show all these people recordings. And I uh, inadvertently invented this little product. So. Uh, this uh, little mount fits on every single feed neck of every single paintball gun in the world. I came up with that last year. Alright, so uh, I am super excited about uh, a project that I backed on Kickstarter, Ooya. Uh, not only is it coming out on all the iOS stuff, uh, it's coming out on all the top devices for Android. And when I backed, when I saw that Ouya project and the, the price point, and I saw that it was uh, going to be an Android device, I'm like, I have to be a part of that. Ninety-nine dollars? What? Download a thousand games? What? Play games on your big screen TV? What? Yeah. I'm in. Count me in. So it was super easy to to be a backer. Um, I'm behind the scenes. They're going to actually help me uh, advertise the game, and then of course we're going to have it out for uh, Kindle Fire, Kindle Fire HD. Pretty much all the top uh, mobile devices. Right. Paintball nice. on the go. Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate it. I will see you at Final Battle. Um, you're going to be on the Red Squad? Yes, I sure will. Right, I'm going to be hunting you down. All right. If I catch you on my camera, I'm going to highlight that. OK, sounds good. All right. Looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, we are at TXR Paintball in Houston, Texas. This is a Viper event. 
This is Greg Hastings and I'm having a blast here on my tour of duty 2013.